I am coming to you from my bathtub. I figure if I sound good singing in the shower, maybe I would look good in the shower too. I don't know. See if that works. Anyway, so today I'm going to try this new product. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. It's called Oops Color. It's for removing permanent hair dyes from your hair. And right now I am, I told you I was in my shower. Right now I am strapped for cash. I'm trying to do my own hair. Um, gonna go maybe platinum blonde or super gray or maybe even like white gray. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so I'm gonna remove the layers of ash blonde that I have in my hair right now and go from there. So I hope you will follow along with me on this DIY hair journey. Excuse the noise in the background. I do live with my family. My brother's a mechanic and my parents are just loud. So if you hear any uh, TV noises or laughing or screaming, my parents love to watch these Mexican game shows and they get really emotional and involved in it. So that's what that is. No one's dying in the background except my soul. Anyway, so the name of this product is actually called Color Oops. I said it backwards. I said it was Oops Color, but it's actually Color Oops. And it is by Develop Plus. It is a uh, product made in the U.S. and it is not tested on animals, which I thought was important to mention. Uh, it says it removes artificial hair color, gently removes permanent and semi-permanent hair color, it takes only 20 minutes, <clears throat> safe and easy, it is ammonia free and bleach free, and it says that you can recolor the same day. I don't think I'm going to color today, uh, I just want to test this product since I am using it for the first time. Uh, <clears throat> you can't tell right now because I have my hair pulled back, but I actually have uh, black roots, a lot of gray, and uh, I want to remove this. Uh, it actually looks darker than it really is, but it's uh, like a ash blonde uh, type of color. I have several versions of this ash blonde on my hair and I want to remove as much as possible so that I can start with a clean palette on my hair and uh, be able to judge uh, how much it bleaches when I get to that phase. So this is what the product looks like, color oops. Okay, so this is what is included in the box. We have extra strength number one here, extra strength step number two here, an applicator which I guess attaches to one of these bottles, and the very important instructions. Now my little experiment here has been moved to the back house which is empty and undergoing some remodeling. The instructions read, uh, while pointing bottle away from face, remove cap on applicator bottle num number two. Pour entire contents of bottle number one into the applicator number two. And then we're going to shake it. And after we shake it, we're going to then attach the application tip. Oops, I didn't get started on that. Pour number one into number two. Oops. Make sure I got all of the stuff out there. I'm close it up and shake it away from face. You don't have to be a chemist to acknowledge common sense practices. Remove the top and then attach the applicator tip. And now we're ready to pour it on her head. Okay, so the bottle had this tip on top um, that you had to cut off. Uh, I actually just bent it over and it popped right out. Um, it is hard to pop out, but it's not impossible, so I was able to just pop it off. And then you are actually ready after <laughs> you get the little top off to pour it on your head. So inside the instructions, I found some gloves, some plastic gloves that you can use uh, to 
pour the particle over your head and mix it in together. It does not have bleach um, or ammonia, but still uh, it doesn't hurt to be safe. And after your hair is fully soaked, uh, we can then use uh, the plastic uh, to cover our heads and give it some heat so it can do its thing. I have my gloves on. I changed my shirt and I have a mixture here ready. So now I'm just gonna do one more quick little shake, just make sure nothing settled while I was setting up. And see, I don't know if you saw that pop, that's why you wanna point it away from your face. So I'm gonna put this all over my head. It says to put it in areas where you need the most uh, dye removal, which for me it's towards the back. We're just gonna liberally apply this until it's all covered. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead here. Now I saw some girls on YouTube put the mixture in a bowl, a mixing bowl, and then brush it onto their hair, which uh, it's a pretty good idea actually. I should have done that, but since I saw the contents in bottle number one and bottle number two were very liquidy, I thought that the uh, bottle application might be uh, better for this type of mixture, but um, I guess we'll see how it goes in a minute. Okay, so uh, all the mixtures in my hair, I put the uh, shower cap, so, so shower cap on my head. Now we're gonna let the natural head heat um, do its thing and we're gonna wait 20 minutes. I'm actually glad I'm doing this in the back house because this mixture does not smell very nice. It smells like rotten eggs. So this is how it works. This is Color Oops reverses the oxidation process of hair color pigment. When hair color is applied, small clear dye intermediates are deposited into the hair during the color process. Hydrogen peroxide, oxide or developer, oxidizes the dye, intermediates into large colorful pigments that are too big to be washed from hair. Color Oops reverses that process. When applied, Color Oops shrinks the color pigments back to small hair dye intermediates. These intermediates are still in the hair. The rinsing and shampooing process is essential in assuring these intermediates are thoroughly washed from hair. If any of the dye intermediates are left in the hair, they can re-oxidize over time and your hair can re-darken. Uh, I've also found out that if it's not thoroughly washed, and uh, if any uh, of those intermediates are still in the hair and you go into trying to bleach your hair and you add some uh, developer on your hair, um, it can actually go dark again. After 20 minutes of processing under the cap, I jumped into the shower and I used a clarifying shampoo. I used Avalon Organics Clarifying Shampoo in Lemon Scent. I bought this at Marshalls for about six bucks. It is a very strong shampoo. It stripped my hair of all of its natural oils, but again, the success of Color Oops is based on your rinsing methods. So I shampooed about three times and rinsed, 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 and then I used a keratin-based conditioner to try to add in some of that protein back into my hair <clears throat> and make it a little bit softer, which it did, but now that I'm out and the hair is dry, uh, it still feels a little brittle. Uh, I went ahead and I added a coconut oil leave-in treatment. I'm not sure if you can tell by the strands that it does have product in it. Um, I believe it worked very well. The box did not mention um, using clarifying shampoo or any other type of brand of shampoo. Uh, I just used clarifying shampoo because the whole point is to get rid of the dye and I figured a clarifying shampoo would do a really good job of getting rid of buildup and of course the dye that Color Oops had uh, softened up. And I, I believe the combination did a really good job. I'm not sure if it would do the same job without a clarifying shampoo, but based on the videos that I've seen on YouTube, 
it works either way. So you don't have to use a clarifying shampoo if you don't have one. You don't have to go out and buy one if you already have a shampoo at home. I do want to mention that Color Oops does not work on all hair dyes. It does not work on pastels uh, such as green, lavender, or purples or pinks. Uh, let me read to you a little bit of what it says here. It says, Color Oops is formulated for use on regular oxidative hair, which is hair the color that was mixed with peroxide, oxide, or developer. Color Oops is not formulated for and will not perform on direct color dyes. So note to self, I'm not sure what I would do in the future uh, if I had those uh, pretty pastels on my hair, which are really in right now. Um, but stick with me and I guess we'll find out together. If you like this video, give it a thumbs, a thumbs up and I will see you next time.